Whoa, what a day, what a day. Hey, uh, Bash TV, we here live. I uh, just want to give a shout out to a family member I haven't seen in a while. Don't have to mention his name, but uh, he just saw me and just said, let's take a ride. And we took a ride and and I just listened. I just listened. You know, sometimes when you just, uh, you know, you're just giving your all and you know you're giving your all and it's like, it's not appreciated. It's not received. Uh, it's not, you know, complimented, you know, uh, you know, after you've done it for so long, you know, you kind of get to the point of like questioning, should you keep doing it? You know, <laughs> like, why should I keep? you know, put myself on the line for other people, you know, when other people don't don't even respect and appreciate the gift that that is. Uh, well, you know, I choose to trust God on this once more, and I'm going to continue to do it, you know. But uh, one thing my cousin told me today, a young uh, man that I respect dearly, older gentleman, and what he said was, he said, you need to take care of Jody. For those who don't know, that's my childhood name, Jody. Anybody said Jody, that's from St. Stephen. So, yeah, I know some of y'all say, oh, when Jody, like the pimp, the player, the one that's Jody, you know, ain't no need going home because Jody got your girl and gone. <laughs> that old school guy. Well, not nah, that's where the name came from, but. Let me just tell y'all straight up, you know, I had licked my lips when I was a baby, real, real young. And so they thought I was going to be a pimp just from that. And then they called me Jody. That's where the story came from. So it's not, I don't have a story of, you know, a Jody. I'm just Jody, though. Yeah, that's me. So anyway, he said, Jody, you need to take care of yourself. Do something for yourself. And it And it really, really... You know, hit me because I really haven't done anything for myself uh, since my first girlfriend in high school. Well, well, let me take that back. Let me take that back. I have done a lot of things for myself, but I haven't had a focus on myself. And what he said is, you can't fulfill your dream without you. So if you are not fulfilling the success individually, that you wanting, then, you know, who cares about a dream? Who cares about anything other than that? Well, um, in this selfless position, you know, I'm learned to, I had to learn to don't feel, you know, because feelings get you hurt every time. That's what the enemy use as his way in. Feelings, emotions, you know, passions, just whatever it is, it's a, any kind of emotion. And um, so basically just, we learn to, to make, I mean, just to produce, you know, strategies to overcoming those obstacles and those challenges when it presents itself. So we always try to be prepared, but if the entire atmosphere that you're around is not prepared, is not battle ready, is not committed to, you know, doing whatever it takes to stay in the moment so God Almighty can show up and just, you know, just show who's the real boss, which is none of us. There's only one boss, there's one God, you know. And so we just basically try to stay in the moment long enough so God can show up. And whenever he shows up, Everyone in the room, everyone in the atmosphere know that God showed up. So right at that position, right at that moment is the very best time to do business for service. So it's been very, very, very hard road to get here, to still be living, to still be a testimony, to still say I'm, you know, I'm healthy you know, I'm, I need to go to the doctor. Yeah, I'm just, they keep saying I'm, you know, I'm wheezing or I'm this or I'm that or whatever the case is. Well, you know, well, Jody, you're going to die. You're going to die. You know, if you die on the path, you know, the, okay, well, you know, if I die, 
and fulfill this mission, which is to save the entire world. Yes, for my calling and my position and my platform and the thinking that God Almighty has given me that, that we have been on that path for 12 years. Yes, if I deliver that, that mission, finish that mission to save this entire world, to be used as a major vessel to moving that forward as a leader, that where my children, my three children, will forever be just 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 be in heaven on earth where where now they have opportunities they don't have to worry about you know homelessness and all these things or whatever like that you know their friends that they love that they care for won't have to worry about these things oh yes i surely would die for that i would die to make a difference in this country so that the other people that's coming in that don't have a voice like me, that don't have the balls like me, that don't have the, the position and the platform to look the enemy right in his face and walk straight through that door, straight through that brick wall and say, hey, look, you know, at the end of the day, as you just on the wrong path, bro, you know, I, I understand what you do. I understand you distract and you turn people against each other and you just you just do it from behind the back positions. But hey, look, hey fam, I'm here to stay. You know I'm here to stay. And at the end of the day, as you've been hurting my people too long, you've been running them away too long. Now we survive. We're here. It's done. It's finished. So at the end of the day is we just have to survive just a little while longer. The race is for the the one that endureth to the end, not for the quick, the one that endureth to the end. So Bash Nation, we here right at the end, y'all, right at the end. Keep hope alive. Keep praying. Keep supporting. Keep building these networks. Keep keep giving us inspiration. Keep letting me know because these videos, you know, that was really set up for my therapy because I feel like no one can stay in the moment long enough to get everything that I'm trying to really give them. It's such a great thing, man. I mean, you know, I know it's kind of hard to, to, to understand someone else's vision, but if you stay in the pocket long enough, you, you get it. Yeah, you get it. You keep swinging. You're bound to make contact. That's my pastor say, you know. So anyway, at the end of the day, is is we're not busy. You know, like a lot of people say, we're busy or we don't have time for this or that. No, you do exactly what you want to do. You receive exactly what you want to receive and you move whenever you want to move. So the majority of people out there, they I appreciate your support and your prayers from a distance. You know, I said before, you know, the love from a distance these days, you know, I don't want it, you know, but I take that back i take love any way i can especially these days so you know but up close front and personal and just touching this moment in history that's just priceless that's just that means more to me that means more to heaven because we're unified we're coming together we're more than one where two or three come together there is our creator that's the best place to be so for everybody with those individual motives and individual, you know, whatever the case is, you're doing whatever it is for yourself. Well, my cousin told me I need to do something for myself. And I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to see what I can do. I've been promoting and pushing everybody else. So how about let's promote and push Joseph Bailey and see what happens, you know. See if my sacrifice one more time, you know, just put my name, my face, my everything on the line. Let's see what happens with that. Let's see if, 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 you know, if I'm able to actually finish this mission.